Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie of Disc Junkie TV, and I'm back finally. And today I thought I would do a review by request. Uh, this is something that several people have asked me uh, to show actually. So, for today I thought I would show you the Japanese edition of iRobot. Uh, this is the uh, limited edition with the Sony head. This was initially released uh, in Japan and after it became very great success there the limited edition with the Sony head was replicated and also issued in the UK and Germany and France as well I believe. Um, but uh, this is the Japanese edition. It's out of print these days. It was limited to 5,000 copies. And uh, well, uh, it's quite an impressive set, but I'm going to show you this a bit closer. So, well, let's do it. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice about this iRobot Sony head uh, is that it's quite large and it's, it's actually quite a detailed set. And I'm gonna just get into the head right away because this is obviously the most important piece of this edition. Uh, it was presented in a quite a large cardboard box, very plain cardboard box, just like the simple iRobot logo. It was all white. Uh, something that I do want to document is the eyes here, which I think are quite nicely done. Uh, it's actually a clear plastic, and then you got like I don't know, sort of like a paper, paper printed background. So it's quite a nice effect. And as you can see, it's, it's just, you know, clear plastic glass there. And then when we like turn it, you get to see the blue eyes there. And the head itself, uh, it's made from plastic. And you can see that it's sort of, sort of half see-through. And out of all the head editions, so to speak, like the Predator and the Alien head, uh, this is by far just the most detailed. It's got a really large amount of different parts and you know it's not all uh, a single mold which I think is uh, really impressive that you know it's it's really been it's really been put together by a lot of different pieces uh, and I just I love this sort of see-through thing here that it kind of fades in and we've got a more much more solid paint for the front and you know, so it's quite an accurate replica actually. Uh, no nostrils, obviously. I don't know why he would have that. I don't think the the robots in the film have it. And then, oh yeah, I'm gonna show you the back by the way. Almost forgot. This, as you can notice, there's a lot of stuff inside. And thankfully, um, this piece of the head actually comes off. Just remove this. You can see here you've got three sort of heavy metal studs here. So that's just, just that. Sort of see through, really hard plastic. You know, not bendable or anything. Quite well made. And then the inside of the head here. This is the only piece that actually comes off, which I think is a bit sad. And also, you know, there's it's really nothing inside. Uh, it's just like, just like a hollow shell, which is sort of a drag because I mean, in the film, it's got like like this energy source thing. So you know, some kind of lamp or something in here would have been really cool. But still, as you can see, quite detailed. You know, a lot of layers, a lot of really nice things. Also you can see kind of the detail that we see th through on the side here. So, you know, it's not nothing is just printed. Everything is, you know, very structured, very embossed and, you know, heavy. You can really... Yeah. Really well made. Take a look at the neck. Uh, you got these, which are quite nice. This is... I don't know how to describe it. It's not like hard plastic like a like a fibery thing I don't know what to call it like 
no, like insulation something, I don't know, but you see what it looks like, it's, it's pretty genuine, looks good. And these can also be slightly moved, as you can see, it's a bit flexible. Although the head itself does not turn, you know, the neck is totally fixated, it's just completely solid. Under the head here, it's quite hollow, um, you can sort of sort of you see all the way to the top there and that's my finger on the other side blinking up there the ears are really detailed love the ears and what else got the iRobot logo on the front here which is embossed and sort of matte silvery style very nicely done and for the bottom I can just show you this as well you know black solid plastic base and see last but not least we have we got like a small hatchet here that opens and there you got like two slots you're supposed to put the discs in here like sort of an alternate stash and I think that's always a nice touch uh, anyway it comes with a keep case as I've shown you this is the Japanese keep case edition and I realized that I hadn't actually opened this still sealed uh, and I didn't really feel the need to do it because it's just a keep case you know so there's not nothing much to show inside but you know this is the artwork in case anyone's interested and there's one thing that makes the Japanese edition different from the other iRobot heads as I mentioned this was released in the UK and the France and in Germany um, but the Japanese edition also comes with this. This is like, first of all, it's just like a Ziploc plastic bag. Uh, but inside we got some goodies. I'm going to show you. Uh, first off, here are some sort of extra, uh, extra padding uh, for the slots in the back. It's got like a, like a small cloth-like thing, so you can sort of replace the ones that are already in the head, uh, in case they get dirty or something. Uh, then we have like a... I'm not sure what this is, if it's anything. Um, I don't know, I think it's just like a information flyer or something. Uh, but you do get this. Here's quite a large style book for iRobots. It's not glossy, but it's got like a like a half glossy feel to it. It's quite good looking actually, all in Japanese I think. But still very nicely designed. I'm gonna show you the insides. You know, full color. Quite a nice look to it. It's a bit too big so I can't really show you on screen. I'm gonna have to do this sort of pan thing here. And you know so all in Japanese, but still quite nicely done. And it's got like an odd fold out thing there. So yeah. Um, but that's pretty much it. The And I mean the booklet is the only thing that really adds to something uh, on the Japanese version in comparison to other editions. So if you want to get the head, I guess the Japanese edition is the one to go for. But if you don't care too much about this booklet, then you know you can just go for French, UK, or you know whichever head edition you want. Cause uh, all the heads are completely identical. Uh, so I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't pick the Japanese version over any other if you can get a good price at it. But so yeah, uh, that's my review of the Japanese iRobot Sony head edition. And if you have any questions or you want to know more about it, you can always post comments or check out my website for further info. That's it from me today. Hope you enjoy this and I'll see you all next time.